Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, we're very happy to present this uh, project to you. Uh, it was created here in the canton of Zurich in Spiegelberg, in the house that Peter Mettler lives in. And we've been there uh, quite a few days, isolated, just the three of us, a filmmaker, a musician, and an anthropologist, um, working together. And now we are bringing our invention out of the laboratory for the first time. Um, so it's going to be a, a little bit experimental. Uh, what Peter is doing is mixing uh, pre-existing images together with um, a lot of parameters in a very complex, I think, new way. So just so that you know that it is uh, being created as you see it. Uh, this is a live improvisation. What are these images we see with our eyes open and the photons bombard the retinas of our eyeballs? They don't go inside the brain. They get translated into electrochemical information and sent to the back of the head to the visual cortex where a network of neurons separates the information into categories, depth, color, movement, form. How the brain then goes about reuniting this categorized information into a coherent three-dimensional image that seems to be outside our head, but that is being concocted inside it remains a mystery. We don't know how the three pounds of gelatinous matter inside our skull generates the film we see with our eyes open. And if we don't know how ordinary consciousness works, we know even less how modified consciousness works. What goes on when we see images with our eyes closed and no photons bombard no eyeballs? One way of understanding something is to modify it. That's one of the reasons for modifying consciousness, to study it. Gaining knowledge from modified consciousness is an old human trick.
Yaminawa people use a twisted language to speak with the multifaceted Yoshi beings because they say normal words would crash into them but with twisted words you go in close but not too close you circle around them and see them clearly because Yoshi beings have no simple nature Yoshito Yoshito metaphors are the only adequate way of describing them here metaphor is not improper naming but the only naming possible you say one thing to mean another like a, a boomerang aim it over there to impact over here 